So, Vanessa? Yes. Okay. Look at this wonderful sockeye salmon. You yeah. went fishing. Yeah. And you brought some wonderful sockeye salmon back. From yeah. Yeah. The Fraser River. Fraser yes, River mouse. Salmon, yeah. yeah. So, you're going to poach salmon, which is a very fine way of serving it. Yeah. And then we're going to present it on a mirror with some um, um, aspic, okay. a clear aspic. Yeah. And okay. decorate it up and so on. But first, yeah. we're going to poach it. So we have some hot water here, lots, plenty of it. Um, we're going to put some um, bay leaves in, a few peppercorns, and we're going to cut up some lemon, put that in too. Gives it a nice um, flavor. So what you do is you take the lemon, yeah. Drop it in. Okay. Some Himalaya sea salt. I would only use sea salt. Yeah. Okay. And about a half a bottle of dry white wine. Okay. Now, if you don't have wine, you can use a little bit of white wine vinegar if you want. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then I guess we'll come back and show how this is done. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have some cheesecloths here. Okay. And I put a little bit of lemon in here, yeah. not only for the taste, but also to keep it a little bit apart. Okay? okay. And if you want to swing over there, there's a catering mirror there. Right. After we do all this, it goes on to the catering mirror. Yeah. The catering mirror is round. Yeah. And you can use any mirror, right? At home yeah. too. It's yeah. a nice centerpiece. So yeah. I'm going to tie this here, here, first of all, and we're going to poach it for about 25 minutes. It doesn't need more than that, and this goes in here, and here, okay. And then we'll come over here because we want this fish to be, to be shaped right now already. How it goes oh, okay. on the mirror, yeah. right? It's yeah. gonna be shaped, right? Yeah. So that's how this goes. Okay. And, and then we'll just tie it. This is sailor's knot here. You're in the you're in the presence of a sailor's ring. Yeah, I know I am. And I'm gonna take this too and tie something around here too. And you will see in a moment why. That loosely and then higher up like this and this. So this is shaped round. Okay. And this goes into the water now. Right? Yeah. And it will keep its shape because we are also going to cool it like that after. Okay. Okay, so here it goes in here. And we'll hang it over there. Over the handles, okay. Over the handle, make sure it's all in. Yeah. Okay. Put the lid on. 25 minutes. 25 minutes. About 25 for that size salmon. Yeah. I don't know what the size is. I'm just. That was one of the smallest ones yeah. we got. Yeah. But it would poach nice. Yeah, it would yeah. poach really nice. Yeah. yeah. The real big ones are sometimes really hard because. They take a long time to cook through, yeah. and then you have the outside already cooked yeah. and soft, and the inside, you know. So it's yeah. better to take a firmer one. Yeah. And the sockeye salmon is a very firm fish, right? So it's very good for poaching. Okay, thank you. So well, here's thank our you. poached fish. Yeah, very careful taking it out, and okay. I place it on here. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, right? Yeah. So what we'll do now? And we'll cut it, and we'll cut it, okay? Very careful, take it out very, very carefully. And then we can cut it open. I do not want to go underneath it, I don't want to disturb it. There's not the best scissors here. But I will show you how we do this. And then we'll let it cool until tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yeah. So here, and you leave the tail on. Yeah. Okay. And here we have this. And look at this. How beautiful this yeah. is. 
so what you will do is you will peel the skin off the whole salmon and you will take this off. We will replace this here as well. Take the top off. I'm going to cover it in our speak because it gives it a wonderful shine and keeps the salmon moist. Right? Anyhow, it's very hot right now. I just wanted to show you. Look at this, how yeah. gorgeous this oh, is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And we will then lift the salmon. When it cools, it firms up a little bit. Yeah. So it's easier to, you know, I can lift it yeah. on this right. one and yeah. then I can slide it onto the mirror. Yeah. And okay. Well, we'll come back in a minute then, or whenever you yeah. got that ready yeah. to go. Okay. I, I see the process, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably this is. That's all I wanted yeah. to show. Okay. Right. So you Thanks. have an idea. It comes off very easy. Yeah. As okay. You can see. And you're getting it yeah. perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm take this off too. Take all the fins out. Don't take the tail. Okay. Because that's a decorative item. You know, it looks very nice at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not. I'm not doing the perfect job. I just wanted to show it. Okay. So bear with me. That's your timer going off in the yeah, background. The timer. Yeah. It's kind of noisy. Yeah. Anyway, that's wonderful. Okay. That's a poached salmon. Poached salmon yeah. tastes wonderful. Yeah. We make a little tartar sauce with it. Yeah. And, right. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna. You've got that off. Yeah. And it's on. And you're gonna cool it for the night. Yeah. Right. I'm going to put little bit of paper over it. Okay, so we're decorating up this yep. poached salmon now. Yeah. What we need is we need some aspic. Yeah. You can either buy it yeah. or you can make your own yeah. with some fish stock and some um, gelatin. Yeah. Okay, you cook it up. Yeah. Not cooking, just dissolving it. Yeah. You don't cook it, you yeah. just dissolve it. Yeah. And then there are all kinds of ways how you can decorate it. Yeah. But you need part of the aspic ice cold, yeah. so I make it the day before. Yeah. And then you cut it up in little diamond shaped things. Yeah. And part of the aspic you need to have liquid the yeah. next day in order to brush the salmon and give it this wonderful sheen, yeah. right? Yeah. Around it will clean that up later, yeah. okay? So you want this, and then we have a whole bunch of lemons. So this is liquid aspic. Right? Yeah, liquid yeah. aspic. Yeah. And here you can do a few lemons, just a few. Yeah. So there are all kinds of, and you don't want to cover the whole salmon. You kind of want to have this idea of a yeah. salmon here too. Yeah. And then here we have some mayonnaise. Yeah. Okay, Mayonnaise and, and you work with each salmon different because each one egg. comes out different, right? Yeah. And you have to kind of, with mayonnaise, you can cover up little imperfections that, of course, happen when you boil a salmon up right. and you handle it, right? Yeah. So yeah. usually I use a real a salmon with a head, yeah, and I I um, poach it with the head on, yeah. But sometimes you can't get a salmon with a head, so yeah. I have made it with. Potatoes, I've made it with like here with a lemon. Lemon and right, yeah. yeah, and you know, yeah. and this is fantastic, right? Oh, and beautiful. we have the yeah. tail on here, yeah. and it's an absolute gorgeous salmon. I make a little tartar sauce with it, yeah. You put it on the side, we'll decorate it up a little bit, yeah. and and it's done. It's a wonderful centerpiece for a for a buffet table or yeah. you know, yeah. for something festive. Yeah. It's wonderful. You're an yeah. artist. Okay, Vanessa. well, you caught the salmon. <laughs> yeah, it comes out of the Fraser River teach yesterday. A man to fish. Yes. And then teach a yeah. man to find a gourmet chef <laughs> partner. <laughs> yeah, okay, so here we are. Thank you. Yeah. So here he is. Wonderful sockeye salmon all garnished up and uh, some shrimp along the top. Beautiful aspic. Vanessa? Amazing. Thank you. Yeah. So here's our buffet today. Start off with the homemade granola and some fixings here. A nice Greek yogurt, cheese tray, uh, fresh cherries, 
and a poached salmon which is a really special thing on our buffet because I went fishing yesterday and caught a bunch of uh, sockeye salmon and this is Vanessa's one of Vanessa's signature dishes the poached salmon and fresh fruit some braided buns squash bun ghetto uh, blueberry ghetto another one of Vanessa's signature dishes apple strudel some orange juice and some raspberry juice that's made with organic uh, raspberries from our neighbor that's our buffet it's not quite this nice every day but uh, most of the time it's really good